Hey guys, this section of the video is sponsored, but as usual, I only work with companies and products that I think you all will enjoy. Today, I wanted to show you an app called Skyrim and Elder Scrolls Amino. This is an awesome community-based app that revolves entirely around talking about and enjoying the Elder Scrolls and Skyrim. There's so much to do and see in this app, it's crazy. For instance, here's a picture of an Argonian someone has drawn. I found this huge post detailing a big Elder Scrolls Legends update. And one of the cooler types of posts are when people create these bios for their original characters characters. You can vote in polls, you can take on challenges, you can even join public chats where you can just talk with people about the game or even roleplay. I will personally be active in this app and to get you all involved, I've created a poll that directly relates to this Let's Play. The links to download this app and also my username are in the description below. So download it on whatever you have, uh, follow me on the app and vote on what you would like to see next in this Let's Play. Can't wait to see you guys on there and enjoy the video. Hey, it's BGV, and welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Let's Play Skyrim Special Edition. This is part 130. In the last episode, we started the quest of the Cursed Tribe. The orcs of Largrash Burr are besieged by giants and have been forbidden to leave their stronghold. Atub, the wise woman of the tribe, has asked me to find her troll fat and a daedra heart so that she may contact Malakath for guidance. We acquired said daedra heart. We also already had some shoal fat. So we are going to be going back to Largash Burr. Largash Burr. Uh, that's going to mess me up every two seconds. Uh, and we are super duper close. So let's go ahead and move forward a little bit and uh, get this quest underway. And then after that, if we have time in this episode, or if we don't... Whoa, whoa, whoa. Why does this seem 10 years away? Whoa, 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 whoa. Why does this seem 10 years away? Seriously, what's going on here? Oh, where am I? Where am I right now on the map? I thought I thought it was over there. Where? Oh, man, trying to find your marker in a sea of icons. Oh, we're all, uh, all the way at uh, uh, the Shrine of Mayroon's Dagon, of course, because that's where we found ourselves some Daedra hearts. Okay, all the way back to Largash Burr. Uh, Largash Burr, God, the orcs, man. Just, just If you're going to speak the, the native tongue of everything... Just go ahead and, and call your thing. Well, no, that's that's calling. That's that's trying to get a culture to completely adhere to another culture. That should not happen in any way, shape, or form. I'm sorry for even suggesting that. My God, how insensitive. Hello, A tube. I will stay right here and wait for you to bring me what I need. Here are the things you asked for. Excellent. Now, you must come with me. You become a part of this. You must be present for the ritual. Okay, I don't remember this whatsoever. I think I have done this quest a total of one time. It just never makes it into my subsequent playthroughs after the initial one where I completed everything. Which is so interesting because, seriously, I have no memory whatsoever. I can't wait to see what happens. Look at these little... Oh, these things make their way into, like, every... Almost every single chapter of, um, of, uh, of Game of Thrones, if you read through the book series. I forget what they're called, but they always... Like, trenches or trunches or something like that. They always mention these things, like, like, these wooden plates. Although, I think they may be made out of bread that you fill, like, sort of like a bread bowl. I'm not exactly sure, but I just know George R.R. R. Martin mentions truncheons, like, at least one time, time in every chapter. You bring an outsider here. And now insist I call on Malakath for help, when he has clearly forsaken me. You try my patience, Atub. Doing nothing will not grant our tribe relief from this curse. We must try. Uh, fine. Let's get this over with. That was the point of coming in here to grab this, this chief? Go ahead, chief. Come on, I'm going to save your entire tribe and you don't even know it yet. You're treating me like an outsider, which I am. I'm a high elf. You have no reason to trust me, but uh, yeah. Gonna save your entire tribe. You'll see, and then you'll like me. And if you don't like me, I'll just now, brawl you to death. Our tribe has survived this Malachi, long without you We beseech you, aid us in our time of need. Why are we bothering with this? You pathetic weakling! What's that? Malakath has heard my pleas. He speaks to us. You dare summon me, Yamars? What? What is this? You don't deserve to call yourself an orc. You're weak, you're small, and you're an embarrassment. You let giants, giants, overrun my shrine. Bring me their leader's club as an offering. 
and I might release you from this curse. So it will be. Malakath has spoken, Yamars. Your path is clear. Very well. You, outsider, come here. I want a word. This is all your fault, you know. I'm stuck fighting a giant now, thanks to you. So you're going to help me. You're going with me, and you're going to make sure I don't have any trouble reaching that giant. Don't worry, I'll make it worth your while. Fighting the giant isn't my job. Thanks to you, I've just been issued a challenge in front of my whole tribe by a Daedric Prince, no less. I can't ignore that. I didn't say I wouldn't fight the giant. I just said you're going to help me get to it. Meet me outside Fallowstone Cave. You clear the way to the giant for me, and I'll make sure you get paid for it. What orc chief would ever allow that to happen? They're all about pride and, and strength. Why would they ever allow an out? Oh, 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 I, oh my God. I did it. I, I did it. I kind of want to make the thumbnail here now. Ooh, like that? Ooh, that would be interesting. Yeah, 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 let's do this. This is an accomplishment that needs to be recorded for all, for the end of time. I, I, I just started jumping, man. It's it's all those years of platforming growing up on the Nintendo 64 with all those platforming games. Banjo and Tooie and Kazooie. Yaha! Uh -huh. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's going to be the thumbnail. No one's even going to know what the hell it, it's supposed to be. Uh, except for those people that have played Skyrim for millions and millions and millions of years, they'll probably say, hey, that's the uh, exact home uh, at Largash Burr, even though they all look exactly the same. All right, so anyways, yeah, it doesn't make sense that an orc would want us to help him. Um, but the game has to find a way to involve us, obviously. All right, so let's take a look. Meet Yamars at Fallowstone Cave. Where's that cave at? Oh, gosh, it's going to be one of these things. Oh, unless it's right over there. Do we see a cave on our little compass there? No. It's probably him just running. Yes. Okay, that's kind of dumb. Um, I hate the inconsistency with that. It's like, just make it so that, you know, it's always pointing to the destination. Or, if you have to follow someone, you know, put it on them. But this time, you know, now we have to wait a little bit to see where he's actually going. And here we go. Uh, so, let's travel to... Where is... Where in the world is uh, uh, Shadow Mare? For God's sakes. Okay, we're going to travel to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary and see if she is back here or he. Again, I keep forgetting which gender it is since all the genders keep switching around in every uh, Elder Scrolls game. Um, oh, man. Where is... Ugh, gosh. Do we have to buy, like, a normal pleb horse now? Shadow Mare, what happened to you? Oh, we do have Arbac, actually. Who are you? Oh, your arrows do so little damage. <laughs> Penitus Oculatus Agent. Again? I thought I'd keep killing you people. Jeez. Alright, if you want to die. I'll grant it to you. I'll grant you that swift death. Okay, well, since Shadow Mare is gone, and there's probably no way we're going to get her back. At, well, there's a way. When there's a will, there's a way, and I'm not exactly sure how. Uh, we're going to go ahead and favorite summon Arvac, um, which is our second best horse from the Soul Cairn. Okay, let's go to the Riften Stables. I don't know. The, Shadow Mare is usually supposed to go back to where you found her, which is in the Dark Pool uh, by the first Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary. But obviously, that's not the case this time around. So I'm not sure what you're supposed to do. This is on PC, obviously, so we could just use the console, I guess. Uh, which I've never really done too much. But Arvac's cool, too. We'll use Arvac. Arvac's a shadow flame horse, you know? That's, that's pretty cool. He just he doesn't have a lot of meat on his bones, and that's kind of a pun. But also, he looks, he looks weak. He looks like he needs some milk, you know? But that's okay. I need to make more use of these these horses, though. I, I just I haven't really missed Shadow Mare up until this point uh, because I can just run, uh, and we have a lot of stamina at this point in time. You really feel the need for a horse when you in those cold winter months, man. <laughs> no, but you really feel the need for a horse. I'm sorry, Arvac. You're you're good though. You're you're a spectral horse. You're you're fine. 
um, in the early game when you don't have a lot of stamina and like you run out of breath in like 10 seconds. Okay, here's Fallowstone Cave. God, I just love how smooth Skyrim Special Edition is, even on my PC, which isn't the best of PC, uh, PCs. I've got a 980 graphics card. I, I still am waiting for that YouTuber upgrade when I find it necessary to get some Titans or whatever the, 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 the market top tier graphics card is at the moment uh, because I will be switching to VR at some point uh, I'd like to make a little bit more money before I do that I have enough to switch right now but um, yeah anyways let's just get this over with how long has this been going on weeks longer feels like an age has gone by I haven't slept in so long I'm just here to help oh of course because Malakath would take pity on us if only a useless outsider would lend us a hand. I don't want you to die, Chief Yamars. Maybe we can arrange that. I'll lead the way, but you'd better back me up. Let's get this over with. In fact, I really want you to die. Protect Yamars. I mean, that's my quest objective now. So for the meantime, I will protect you. But don't count on it. Okay, uh, let's grab... Soul Tear is activated and incinerate as well. Um, we could use this time to level up. Where? You're still behind me? God, you are such a coward. You better perish in this fight. I forget if you perish or not. I think you do, and I'm, I don't want to spoil it, but I really don't know. So this is just conjecture at, the, at this point in time. Conjecture, is that the right word? I think so. If so, let's just pretend I never said conjecture. Or let's just pretend I was never not sure. Whoa! That's cool. You never see that. That little animation there. Oh, I did it again. Did you really need it? <laughs> did you really need a hop for that one, man? Uh, ooh, this is a really... Oh, look how cool this location is. Okay, this is a cool quest. All right, let's go, buddy. Let's find that, that giant and slay him. I've got some fireballs. You know what? I, I've got some big balls, and I've got some f uh, fireballs. So I, I'm not scared of a dragon. Or a, a, a giant. Well, yeah, if I'm not scared of a dragon, why would I be scared of a giant? Okay, I guess um, I'm not needing to protect him at the moment. He just wants us to get there, and he's supposed to take on the giant by himself, I guess. That's a big campfire. A giant campfire, in fact. Whoa. Nice punt there. Okay, let's go, buddy. What are you, what are you doing? Come on. Let's go. Let's speed this up. Don't know where this uh, giant's going to be, but... Uh, ooh, that was the bad effect, like in uh, Bleakstone Barrow. Oh, there's the giant. Oh, it's a small giant, right? Is that a smaller giant than usual? Oh, okay, but he does as much damage. Uh, I guess it's not. It looked like a smaller. What? Where's? Is he running? Oh, is? Oh, is he actually a coward? Oh, he's actually a coward, isn't he? What are you doing? Don't make a mess. Of Ow! Is he not? Okay, I'm not even gonna do anything. I'm just gonna sit here and watch. Let's see who wins. I can't see your Mars's um, health bar. It says protect him, but are you ever gonna like attack? Him? There you go. Come on, put put your weight into. It. I guess we'll be we'll be like yeah, we'll be his coach. All right. So what you want to do is you want to since you can you can see he's not really doing any, doing anything at this point in time. You want to like attack him now. He's just sort of looking at you like that. There you go. You do so little damage you Mars as soon as we get out of this sticky situation we need to go back and get you some upgrades man I'm really curious as to what we're supposed to do here honestly because let's take a look protect your Mars despite being specifically instructed by Malakath to see to it himself your Mars wants me to help in defeating the giants that have overrun Fallowstone Cave and the Shrine of Malakath he's promised to pay me in exchange for making sure he arrives there safely so I'm not really sure you know what he's probably just gonna lose his health and then Whoa! Is he dead? Oh, he's dead. Okay. All right. Well. <laughs> okay. Okay. Uh, plan B. We'll just do everything. Oh. Oh no, he's getting up. All right. Let's see what he says if we take him. Uh, take this giant out. Because this is gonna take ten years. Run off. Don't make a mess of this. Well, there's more giants, I guess. So we have more giants to kill. Um. Ooh, 314 gold. Not bad. All right. You ready, buddy? Until next time. Yeah, until next time. As in, let's go. 
There you go. Okay, I thought we were going to have to deal with one. I, and I also thought that was a smaller giant. I guess Adrenok is very tall. You know what? I would... I Well, High Elves are generally very tall, right? I don't think... Do they keep the sprites or do they keep the player characters as certain height levels? Like, do the, what I'm trying to say is do the races have different... Uh, oh, I think I remember what happens in this quest. If, if, if I'm right, I'll say I was right. Uh, let's soul tear this bear. I want a bear buddy to follow me. Um, yeah, I'm curious. I'm actually curious. There's no dwarves. You know, the Dwemer are gone. So there's no dwarves that you can play as. But they would be smaller. But I feel like every every race that you can play as is the same exact height. But high elves are supposed to be taller, right? And uh, wood elves are supposed to be the smallest, I believe. Right? Could be wrong. Anyways, let's go, bear. Whoa, what is this? The exit? What, what, what are you doing? Where, where are you going? To Giant's Grove. Okay. In we go. So far, so good. And we still haven't needed, uh, haven't needed to activate Highborn. Okay, we have an outside location, Giant's Grove. Let's go, man. Oh, dude, followers. God, followers are annoying, man. Just come on. Come on. Oh, it's like, what? what is the rhyme or reason for him to just stand there, you know? All right, I guess we'll just do everything ourselves. Oh, gosh. Vana, why don't you use followers, Vana? Why don't you like having to babysit a stupid NPC for everywhere you go? Doesn't that sound fun, Vana? Whoa, oh, the Malakath Shrine is here. Oh, cool. Uh, you gonna get your ass over here? Cause I'm gonna... Ugh. I guess we... I don't... I don't know what I should do here, honestly. He's supposed to be... He's not moving. He's like literally... Maybe we just draw him over. Alright, come on. Let, let's beat this horrible... Okay, there we go. Alright, you do your thing. Oh, that's a big stomp. I wish I could see his health bar. Your Mars' his health bar. God, you do no damage. You are so weak. You don't deserve to lead this tribe. And I think that might happen. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Okay, let's go ahead and help this terrible person out. Highborn. And, uh, yeah, all it really takes. Uh, thorn. And Spike. And we'll deal some damage with soul tear. Excuse me. Just, uh, oh, no. Don't want to soul tear this because it could cause some bugs. God, Thorn and Spike. All right. I'll go kill this giant. Unless, of course, you'd like to make some extra gold. What do you mean? I'm tired. I haven't slept well in weeks. You kill the giant. Bring me the hammer. We go back to Lagerspur. I tell everyone I did it. You keep your mouth shut, and I pay you. Handsomely. No, you were supposed to do it. Fine. Then wait here. This should only take a second. Excellent work. You have a true fighting spirit. Did that better than I could have. Of course, I can't let you leave here alive. Wouldn't want anyone finding out. Yeah, attack me while Thorn and Spike are still alive. That's a that's a that's a really good idea. Yamaras was a fool, always trying to scheme his way out of responsibility. Well, the giants took care of him, and you took care of the giants. Two problems solved at once. Now, take Shagro's hammer back to Largishburg. And we'll see about whipping the rest of them into shape. Shagrel's hammer? Completed Protect You Mars. Was that really completed? Okay, on the giant. Oh, Shagrel's Warhammer. Oh, there we go. Okay, let's take that and that and that and... Ooh, a human heart. Okay, we'll take that and let's loot this guy. Oh, he's got full orcish. Yeah, this must be one of the higher uh, level requirements for the Daedric quests before you can actually get this quest. Because once you complete it, you can get yourself a full suit of orcish armor, which isn't that easy to find. And it's cool. This is actually, I think, the uh, the most uncool iteration of orcish armor, though. Uh, I think I remember in Morwen the first time I killed myself an orc, uh, not on the channel or, or on the stream or anything, way back when I first played Morwen, when it was new still, um, or the Game of the Year edition was new at least. And, um, yeah, I, I killed an orc and got his full set of orcish armor, and I wore it, and I was like, my god, I'm, I'm set for the rest of the game now. 
But uh, anyways, here we have the Shrine of Malakath. Bandit. <laughs> what are you doing here, man? I'm going to burn your body. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, Shrine of Malakath looks really cool, by the way. In fact, did we already get our... Ah, oh, we already got our thumbnail, didn't we? I would have uh, got one here because, yeah, Malakath Shrine is one of the coolest looking ones. Okay, we're in an outside location, so we might be able to fast travel. I am not sure. Look how long Thorn and Spike last. Man, these dudes, man. Oh, there's a chest. I was like, there's got to be something interesting over here. Potion of Ultimate Healing. Yes, that is the number one potion we want to look for. Uh, we definitely already have the Fear Effect. We'll take that. Okay. Take Shagrul's Hammer back to Largath. Blah. And uh, let's see if hopefully... Oh, man. Really? All right. Well, now we begin, now we begin the, the trek back. So, we got a little bit of time to talk about things. What to talk about? What to talk about? Um... This has been on my mind for a while. Yeah, and by the way, let me know, ladies and gentlemen, in the comments section, if you'd be so kind. Uh, whether or not you would like to hear me talk about things that are on my mind, or if you would just like me to cut back to Largishbur. Uh, hopefully, you guys like me talking about things, because I like talking about things. Also, we have a little bit more to explore in this cave, too, this thing over here. What is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why did we not have to deal with this? This isn't where we came in from, is it? It's telling me to go this way, though. Yeah, this was like a whole other section, just unless it just leads back. Oh, maybe it is a shortcut if we just hop back down here. I guess over here was the entrance. I guess we just missed that giant down there that I saw walking around. Okay, anyways. um, Yeah, so, so, so what fills me with pride in regards to this channel are these let's plays these big let's plays it's what i'm known for you know i'm known for the uh you know the the elder scrolls and mainly the elder scrolls if i'm being honest the fallout let's plays uh i feel like other youtubers overshadow they they just have better metadata or something they're not as prominent on youtube and i honestly just don't know as much as i do with the elder scrolls um so anyways i feel an enormous sense of pride oh jesus all right oryx come on everybody get together come on help me out here yep is this is we're all gonna have to do this uh i have a super big power though that i will use right now dragon gotcha this thing has a super big hitbox by the way uh, it's very rare that you miss a dragon run uh anyways yeah this um it fills me with an enormous wow that was fast whoa okay yeah that was super fast because it was just a normal dragon and do we have another one? Yeah, it's never just one dragon. It's gotta be two. Well, at least we got dragon souls aplenty, though. Man, it's gonna suck when we start dragon board. Yeah, these Let's Plays will fill me with enormous pride. Um, if you look up any of them, pretty much, I think Morwind, Oblivion, and Skyrim, mine is the first one that comes up on YouTube. I'm not saying that to brag. I'm just saying that that fills me with enormous pride. Uh, I love doing these big, long Let's Plays, and I hope you guys like them, too. Uh, I've got plans in the future for these. I've got big plans, in fact, um, and I can't wait to to do more. Uh, yeah, that's about it, but this has been an amazing experience so far is what I'm trying to say, and uh, I hope you guys like them, and I'm going to focus on that. That's the focus of the channel. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to focus on that and, and try to uh, make these Let's Plays even better, etc. So I'll talk more about that in the future, but just a little little tidbit there. Okay, let's talk to Atub. Don't hurt anyone with that spell, and you'll be sorry. I have returned with Shagrul's hammer. But what of your Mars? I see. He did not survive. He... He died well. He asked me to kill the giant, then attacked me. What? Why would he do such a thing? Your Mars is a coward and a weak. His deceitful ways have cost you all greatly. What fate shall we suffer? You'll have to prove yourselves, Our but I'm willing to give you a chance. We'll be fine. Gullerzo's in charge now. Let's hope he's a better chief. You place that hammer on the shrine. You're the only one who's proven worthy in all of this. Of course. Of course I am. Place Shagrul's hammer on the shrine in Largish. You know what? I, did we look at Shagrul's hammer? Did it have anything? I think it's literally just a normal hammer. 
Uh, yeah, Shag Rolls Warhammer. Pretty normal. Ah, see, that's the, that's the most disappointing aspect of The Elder Scrolls. Such an amazing game, the most gaming-rich experience you could possibly have, but you play something there, it just immediately gets replaced with Volendrung. Like, come on, do some sort of effect, man. How hard could it be to put an effect in there? Don't just, don't just make one disappear and then a new one appear. There's no mysticism in that. All right, the quest is done, and we have Volendrung. Which, as most of you know, that was going to be our reward. Uh, this is one of the persistent Daedric weapons. If you do Malakath Shrine in the first uh, in Oblivion, you get this weapon as well. I'm pretty sure. What is even Malakath's? It. Oh wait, yeah, it has to deal with trolls, right? No, not trolls. Um, ogres, I think. Yeah. So there's Volendrung. Definitely, honestly, the coolest, maybe one of the coolest, if not the coolest, weapon designs. In all of Skyrim. Look at this thing. This thing is so awesome. My god. I, too bad I never, ever, ever find a use for this. Uh, because I never play big, slow warrior characters. But still, one of the coolest looking. Just just so cool. I remember I saw this when Skyrim was coming out. Because I was pouring over the details for Skyrim. I was literally just... I would check back like every single day on forums and everything. To see if anything new had come out about this. Um... And uh, I remember seeing Volendrung for the first time. I remember seeing uh, Malakath or um, uh, uh, Molag Balls. Um, the Oh, God, what is it called? No, Mesa Molag Ball. Yeah, I remember seeing that for the first time, and I was just like, holy crap. This is going to be so amazing. So, yeah, Volendrung is really cool. Absorb 50 points of stamina, which is quite big. That's basically taking five levels away from your opponent, you know, because you get 10 points, and if they pump those into stamina, the five points... Uh, just just stealing them so really cool um very heavy <laughs> weighs 26 yeah unfortunately we're not gonna be able to use that as adrenoch of course since adrenoch is a mage my god i just need to take a second look at this dude that i'm playing the, on the biggest series of my entire channel i am playing a mage i just have to take a step back and, and think about that every now and then because that's insane to me i hate playing as mages although it, it, it's been very fun for this um quest but that's be er, for this playthrough but that's because skyrim makes playing as a mage uh very easy and adaptable and uh, there's no learning curve really all right so that completes malakath's daedric shrine a lot of you have wanted me to do uh find the instruments because yes i remember you do get a unique reward uh, semi-unique um so we will be doing that i'm gonna fast travel oh great yes i was hoping that would take me to something we're gonna fast travel here but we're gonna end the episode because this is something entirely different, and I feel like this is a good place to stop. Thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, thank you guys so much for the support of this series so far. Like I said earlier, you know, I just... I am filled with so much pride uh, based on how well my Let's Plays have done on YouTube. And I just... I, I it, it feels good. It just feels good, and I can't wait to do more and, uh, and, and just show people more about these amazing games. So thank you guys so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.